Hello, Galaxy of Heroes. Why can't I turn this sideways? Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, uh, a video. Uh, finally, maybe, if you've been waiting for one. Um, this is the bonus bonus round or whatever. Uh, we get uh, get currency or whatever. So um, we've opted to slap Geonosian Brood Alpha in as the fifth and guarantee the results there. We're doing okay on the other one. So, and this one is just giving us the currency for, I think this is the ship currency over the other one, but I can't remember. Anyway, it gives us currency and that's why we go with Geonosian Brood Alpha as and when possible. How long does this go on for? We're already on round two. Um, yeah. Uh, is it wrong to say that I've actually been looking forward to doing this raid after doing two light side raids where um, it's basically uh, your wallet ain't deep enough, you ain't moving very far at all. Um, yeah, to have this, this is kind of like knife through butter in comparison and just kind of identifies that so often, I mean, I suppose we've got, I don't know, maybe we do have an equal number of light side devastating squads, but these are just, you, you know, I mean, these really are kind of, or this one is anyway, uh, pretty much an annihilation. Um, there's one which is a bit kind of like, uh, you might want to fast forward it because even at fast forward, it's probably going to be a while. But this is all doubled up. This is 31 minutes of footage condensed for your viewing pleasure down to 15. Oh, yeah. So let's get things in order here. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, here's hoping you all have great ones. Yeah. Yeah. So... And um, Merry Quimbo, uh, belatedly. Yeah, didn't do much uh, video-wise, but uh, hopefully I'll be having some content that will come out that will kind of update you on where I am. Um, stop doing the uh, Gearing Up see series. Uh, maybe I should go back to that. Although... Um, there is a semi gearing up one that I'm going to be putting out. Uh, just me playing around with my 501st clones. I'm one of the players. One of. Um, <laughs> I'm not one of the select players who had absolute ton of currency. And it's just been so painful. So, so painful with the gradual climb to get... Uh, my general Anakin Skywalker get my gas to seven star. I want seven star gas, don't we all giggly? But um, yeah, yeah, and kind of it's nagging at the back of my brain that I won't even have a chance to accumulate any before they drop the next content um, that we have to start buying through there. So yeah, it's it's always ongoing, isn't it? So this one here, as you can see, the, these are my Geonosians minus my Geonosian Brood Alpha. So we're not going to get the combined attacks. It took me maybe three rounds to realize that they aren't all going to just charge in and kill everything. Um, but uh, where are they? I think they're, I think Poggle and... Geon Ocean Soldier are Relic 4. Um, and I think my Sunfac and Spy are 5. Uh, I need to work or get to grips with Spy and when to and when not to. Um, I keep holding back. If I stick the Geos in against uh, a Nest Squad, I keep holding back on just letting that little fly fly <laughs> letting that green spy or geo spy just go and absolutely belt the living daylights out of someone in a single hit um yeah 
So if you're wondering why it doesn't get used very much in here, it does get used a couple of times. Um, but even here, you know, all right, this is taking a while here because we've got what and we don't have the combined attacks and whatnots. Um, it's still, I don't know. I don't know. Would you put it on auto? I don't think I would put it on auto because it's just going to be really annoying AI. And it's going to target everything that you don't want to target and leave all the sharpshooters and ponds and whatnots all surviving. You know, I keep forgetting and having to go back and finding the... Um, keep going back and... Uh, sorry, I had a screen pop up and it's completely lost me there. Oh yeah, keep going in and having to find the the healers and make sure that after I've killed a few of them, that I do actually take out the healer before he brings them all back and undoes. Uh, case in point here, here he is. There we go, we got him gone. He gone, which means that um, we're moving on to round four. Ching, ching. But of course, this is uh, six star requirements as compared to, I believe that the light side one is seven star from, from the kickoff, isn't it? Which is a bit weird more stars but yeah whatever it is what it is i've been doing the math and with the get that i have in stock i think i need 1192 to be precise additional um currency plus us getting 31 stars on this run um, of course, we've expanded our rosters. We've had a few bits since we last did this, so I oh, yeah. don't know. You know. Hopefully, 31 stars is achievable. Hurrah! Hurrah to more! Yes, um, we're the, the more with the W's. No, with the M gap, A W, more. Yes, yes, there are three more. And I am in one of them. With Grande, actually. Grande's in there. And and lots of other fabulous players. Um, sorry there. I'm not going to go through and name all 49 other members of the guild. <laughs> I really should. No, no, no. It's not happening. Look us up. We're there. We're fabulous. Fabulous. Um, Semi-fabulous. Yeah. I've been laying the side down a bit recently. That's just through commitments, blah, 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 blah. No excuses. I've been a bad boy and I need to uh, up my game. Um, so I'm trying to kickstart that by actually putting some content out. Bum, bum. So who, oh, uh, this one, this one is, this is quick. So um, I've been accumulating some um uh, relic materials for a while and i did a little splurge so uh, i finally moved my darth revan from relic one to relic three Ooh, i think uh hk is relic three and i can't remember i think my bastilla is four and then marauder is five and um as a treat christmas christmas bonus i finally took my slaphead aka malak up to relic seven he good at seven should do it <laughs> he says i've been quite reluctant to do actually much with them i've just let them kind of sit there at five or less for quite a while it's just the fact that i had the bits and also i just you know it's gonna make these a bit easier it's a boost to the gp yada 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 uh oh yeah so i completed that quest that's why because i've been looking at it thinking oh god i'm gonna have to do another round before another raid raid is this a raid no it's a territory battle have to do another one of these before I can finally get. And as I say, I have got another video prepped. Just needs the voiceover, which it will be getting soon. 
um, with my 501st as they are at the moment. So, yes, um, here's a bit of a, a giveaway. So I have been busy um, with my first order. So in ascending order, uh, my first order officer, my foo fighter, yeah, um, is, sorry, that was awful, that really was awful what I just said there, but uh, yeah, my foo, my first order officer is Relic 1, um, then from there, my General Hux is Relic 3 and has his Zeta, uh, I can't remember if it's lead or not. If it's if it is, then it was redundant. But I don't think it is. I think it just stops them countering or something. So yay, yay, go for that. Um, and then I think I think if I recall correctly, I'll slap it in the um, description or whatever if I'm wrong on this. But I think then uh, crew, uh, Death Panda and Mister Red are all Relic 5. I've got to be honest, Mr. Red is proving to be a favourite tune of mine at current. At current? Currently, one of my favourite tunes. He is just excellent. Um, I misuse him here, yay. But uh, that, you know, it doesn't really slow it down. I mean, well, this is, okay, so this is the six-star requirement and they're all relics, so they're seven-star and plus. Effectively eight-star, I suppose, if you've got the relics on there. But, oh, wow, yeah, uh, he doesn't shine fully here. But I just at the moment, I was chatting with uh, uh, some mates a bit earlier about um, Grand Arena Championships. And my favourite go-to assault team at the moment, Hux lead with Fu and Mr. Red. Oh, it's just so much fun. It is so much fun. And 3v3, that Mr. Red really does pack a punch. Um, so much so that Death Panda's kind of getting missed out. But there you go. Oh, look, we got two stars while I was doing it. Yay. Where are we going now? Where are we going? Oh, no. oh, that's where we go. So this is me just playing around. Uh, okay. Um, Zam is... Oh, no. No, start at the beginning. Dengar is Relic 1. Zam is Relic 2. Um, I think... Both Boba and Django are Relic 3. It took me a while to realise that, of course, Boba is a crew member as well. And uh, just adding a bit to Slave 1 is always going to be handy. Uh, yeah, so... And Zeta-wise, um, Bosk is double Zetaed. And Django is double Zetaed. So, if he kill him... No reviver bringing them back, and I like that. I also like Zam absolutely kicking the crap out of people with her pistol and blowing up thermals. That's just an added bonus. Uh, I'll make a, I'll make this actually a bit hard work, I think, near the end, but uh, yeah, we plowed through. I mean, we're already in three of four. Uh, and I got to showcase my first order, which I am, I am enjoying the first order. It's like now where we're we going. So, I believe we're getting another Kylo Ren, um, which is going to be very interesting for first order. And uh, I can't help, boom, love that. Uh, I can't help thinking that the was it that we're also getting a uh, another. Is it going to be Jedi Ray? for the resistance and maybe then we'll see why we got uh, a new fin boom get rid of him i you know what that was awful but i hadn't even realized that anakin was there i was pretty much running on autopilot and it's like hang on a second zam's in the yellow that's not good boom 
that's better. She's getting green. Boom, look at that. There's thermals and Zam and Django's lead and all the other work. Yay! And there we go. And that is it, I believe. That is it. Thank you for watching.